So I thought I was going to have to start out today's recording with an explanation for the background noise, but uh, we're not going to actually have background noise this time. Oh, well, hold on, we've got important story first. Yoshi wandered around in a sewer. End of story. That was a... Is that just going to loop infinitely? Okay, so I can speed up the game, and it doesn't actually speed up the sound clip. That's good. Yeah, we need to stop that noise right now. Oh my god. Please. Please, Yoshi. Okay, good. So yeah, the uh, amorphous blob was Baby Wario, so yeah. So, what is Baby Wario going to bring to the table here? Is he going to make us not jump as high and just be generally bad? Let's see. Wait, he has a magnet? What the hell? Huh. That's really weird. So, um, I would make a lobster magnet reference. So I will. Lobster sticks to magnet. Ya 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 ya. That was it. Okay. Um. So anyway, the story that I was going to have to explain, but now do not actually have to, is uh, <clears throat> it may uh, come as a surprise to you, but it gets rather warm in Texas, and so uh, rabbits made of steel. Lobster has a beak. Okay, I'll shut up. Um. <clears throat> We've generally just had to have the air conditioning on almost non-stop since, like, I don't know, May. It's been pretty hot. And so finally it has uh, cooled down slightly, which is a good thing because then we can kind of turn it off and save electricity a bit. But uh, the other good reason for this is because um, for some reason for the past week or maybe two weeks, I don't know how long it's been, um, the air conditioning has been piping the smell of weed into the apartment at a very alarming capacity. <laughs> and so it was really weird because the only possible explanations I could think of were that there was a stash of weed just inside the vents or that like, let me think. Um, like it was either that or just like, somebody else is smoking it in their apartment and then it's somehow sharing the air from that and piping it into here which should not be how air conditioners work so i really didn't understand why that was happening um finally came to the conclusion that probably what's happening is the people um upstairs of us are smoking it and it's like seeping into the floor and then going from the floor into the vents because it's uh it's only there when the air conditioning is on. It's not like it's a constant thing. But because the air conditioning is pretty much constantly on, it is sort of a constant thing. So it's just, it's really stupid. <clears throat> Point is, um, weed exists, and it kind of is better. Like, it doesn't seem to be happening right now, but it might again later, so I don't know. Last night we had to, like, blast the AC while having the doors open just to uh, try and get the smell out. <clears throat> but anyway, focusing on the game here, we've got Lobster Magnet, of course. We've got Baby Wario. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so far, this cave has been pretty straightforward, and I kind of hope it stays that way. I can see these magnet puzzles getting kind of uh, jonesy later on. I don't actually know what that means, but we're going to roll with it anyway. What was the point of this? Heh. <laughs> Alright, let me just check here if there's like a hidden thing. There does not seem to be. There is a large fish, though. Oh, I screwed this up. Okay, hold on. When did I save? Not too long ago, that's fine. Let me go up here again. Yeah, I see what I was supposed to do there. That 
Yeah, the puzzles definitely got Jonesy. Um, not difficult, because I really should have been able to figure that out, but oh well. Also, since we're on the subject of air conditioning, um, I really doubt it's being picked up in the recording right now, but for some reason it's making the noise of, like... a possessed... I don't know, it, it was like some kind of evil spirit. It was pretty good. And that just reminds me of the, uh... Recently I watched a Louis C.K. comedy thing, and, um... There was this one particular part that I find inexplicably hilarious and will constantly be quoting, so um, I'll go ahead and explain this one now, because I'm sure it'll come into play at some point later. It'll just be some random thing that I bring up for no reason. But um, the Witch in the Kitchen story, in which he is in a cabin and... or not a cabin, but just like a house in the country, and hears the noise of how I see you, <laughs> and believes that there is a witch in the kitchen. I'm not going to tell the entire story, because you can just look it up if you want. I wouldn't do it justice, but it was pretty good. I particularly like that uh, the reason he hates bats is because they, like, look around, they're like somebody, and they have a face. There, now that I have ruined the joke by not doing good delivery, we can move on. And by move on, I mean getting Jonesy. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? I'm going to keep using that phrase. And it's probably not the kind of phrase that I want to be using, because I have a feeling it's going to have some really bad meaning. But uh, it's not going to stop me. So yeah, I just want to make sure that there's nothing weird here. does not appear to be. Now, I should be able to just get up there, right? No? Gonna have to pull the magnet out. Which is fine, but... I don't care for these, uh, these dragon ships anymore. I've had too many bad run-ins with them. Now I've gotta always check the, uh, the neck area to make sure there's no hidden stuff there, because you never know. Okay, so how's this gonna work? Because I don't see... I'm supposed to get up there exactly. I guess that worked. Go ahead and do a save here. And then, yeah! Um, yeah, how do I get up there? I guess just through that, so yeah. This magnet's very strange. I'm not sure what to think about it yet. <clears throat> it's not a horrible mechanic, it's just not one I expected to be in this game. At least it uh, seems to be slightly more useful than some of the other skills. Like, I'd rather have this magnet than have the ability to climb vines. Because this also means that... Uh... Oh yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it... um that really shitty pirate ship stage that I had so much trouble getting all the coins in probably would have been a lot easier with the magnet because I would have been able to uh, grab them without having to individually touch each one. So, yeah, I guess this might actually be the kind of game where uh, it might not be the best idea to try and 100% the first time through, but that's not going to stop me. So anyway, let's avoid activating this platform for as long as possible. Because as soon as I do, we're going to have to do some real Jonesy stuff. At this point, I'm dedicated to just using that phrase now. It's going to be the new thing. So, it'll be like the title of the video, like getting Jonesy with it. And I'm going to have to look this up on like Urban Dictionary and find out if it means something really, really bad, which it probably does but I've got to commit to it. It's too late now. Alright. 
right. This is acceptable to me. Okay, let's go ahead and activate the platform, I guess. <laughs> well, that was underwhelming. And I somehow missed the jump. That was amazing. That was one of the most jonesy things I've seen. Okay, I, I really need to not stop doing that. <laughs> Two seconds ago, I'm saying I've got to commit to it. And it's like, okay, every sentence that passes where I don't use the phrase... I've got to somehow shoehorn it in there. But no, no, it probably it needs to meet an early end. Okay, I mean, I guess. Yeah, coins! Well, I don't quite want to go up there yet, so... Just get rid of these knuckleheads and... Eh. Yep. I sure do like these, uh, coin cloud. I don't know what you call them. Coin cloud, I guess. Hence why I said coin cloud. Is there a... Yeah, there's a thing down there. Uh, still haven't done anything with that magnet block, so probably should go do that. Cave music is so, like, adequate. I, I don't have anything good to say about it. Uh, okay, um, I see what I'm supposed to do here. I'm just putting it off. I need to go back and get some more eggs. Because, uh, you, you probably have learned this about me by now, but, uh, I don't much care for it when there are multiple paths to take, because I never know if one's going to, uh, screw me over. There is definitely still a coin up there. I should be able to get it with the bouncy platform, though. So let's get rid of these. That worked shockingly well. And I like how the thing, like, is halfway sunken into the block there. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I see a baby coin up there, which I can't get, so I'll have to remember that. Immediately freaking forgets. Yep, that's, uh, that's what that is. Well, there should be a little switching sign somewhere soon, because I don't think I've seen one in the rest of the level yet. How about you? What's your deal? More coins. No. That's my new, like... Because Wario has such a freaking obnoxious cry in this game, I need to, uh, avoid getting hit at all costs. Not even just for, like, gameplay-related reasons. Mostly just for my own sanity. People say that about, uh, the crying in the original game, and it was annoying, but it was never so bad that it, like, genuinely upset me. I don't know. So, let's just go ahead and see what's down here. Yeah, I mean, I guess. There's, uh, quite a bit more crap still to do, though, so I guess let's backtrack. As we run away from the cloud of coins. Wait, did they despawn? Did they seriously despawn if you take too long? That's really stupid. Wow, okay. I... I think... Ugh. I think that's enough for me to take back what I said about the magnet actually being kind of a cool idea. That's really shitty, because I have no idea if any of the ones lagging behind are going to be red coins or not. 
So let's try to float back without losing all the coins. Yeah, see that? Like, if those despawned, I would just be completely screwed. I think that was the last word, though. Was it? Yeah, let me reload, though, because... Alright. So now I don't have to worry about collecting coins anymore, which is always good. No! No! Are there any enemies? Yeah, there are. About to say any that I can hit with the uh, red eggs here. Alright. Where is the... You know, I just realized you could probably call those a baby changing station and that would be accurate. Is that what they're actually called? I'm sure they have a term. But, uh... I do not know what it is. It's gotta be over here, right? There's a flower. Alright, what the hell? Because I have now gotten everything in this level except for that coin that I don't know how to get. Because I don't think I can go through the whole level with a different character. It seems like I need the magnet to progress in a lot of spots. So, but let me think. If you start the level... <clears throat> Um, like, if you go back to this level later on and don't pick Wario, there's got to be one, like, at the very beginning to let you switch, right? So, I could go all the way back to the beginning. I'm just wanting to double check here, just in case. That little quarter second to speed up there saved so much time, you can hardly believe it. Yep. We're going back. Hopefully this won't be too terrible. And I could probably cut this, but that doesn't mean I'm going to. Wait, is this the beginning? Can I go back any further? No. <coughs> okay, so... Unless it is possible to get up there without the magnet, which I don't think is possible... I'm not seeing how you would do this. So I guess I should probably just complete the stage and try to come back for it later, which I really hate doing. But at least I don't have to 100% the level again, so I guess that's alright. But yeah, I guess we'll be coming back later. I am good, right? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. I don't remember what minigame we have in this world. Come on now. Oh, it's this one. Let's see, how many can I bet? 99. I'm not gonna go that high. I am going to do like 30 though. Will I lose all 30? No, because I'm gonna save state and reload if I do. But let's see how we do. Okay, well, I'm guaranteed to not lose them. So I just got my 30 back then. Whatever. Oh, that's... that's why there wasn't a changing station anywhere, because... Alright. That was... That was certainly a non-issue. It's like, oh no, they're gone. Oh, they're back. That was it. That was the whole thing. Whatever, I'll be replaying that one after I finish this stage. So here we have... Use the magnet to get rich... That's not even a level name. That's just... That's a Chinese myth dragon. It's Henry Zhao's textbook. Alright. Already not really caring too much for these platforms. They're a little bit jonesy. 
here we've got... Yeah, we already learned what that was. Can't pound that in. Turns out there's a coin in it anyway. What is the range on this magnet? It seems really limited. And we'll stay with Wario for right now. <laughs> no, we, we don't get that noise. Absolutely not. These platforms are weird. So, they do automatically go up after you pull them down? Is that what I'm seeing here? Looks like it, yeah. <clears throat> it also seems to be extremely arbitrary when they come towards you. Come on now. Oh my god, I hate these platforms already. And it was coins. Why am I not surprised? Oh wait, I know exactly why I'm not surprised, because this game has an obsession with putting coins in those things. It could make them something useful, but nah. I solved the beautiful puzzle there, so my reward is I get to keep saying the word Jonesy. <coughs> And they get to cough up a squirrel. Having fun with the really bad platforms. Here's some vines that I can't interact with. Don't really know what that is on the right, but I think it might be a pharaoh goat! Alright, there was a cloud. How do I get to the cloud? What? Did you see that? Look at this. Look at this shit. No. No. That's that's getting into Kaizo Mario 64 hiding the red coins in the lamps territory. I don't like that at all. God, that means I have no idea how much stuff I could be missing. Oh, that's that's really bad. Is that going to And the thing is like they're, they introduced it as a mechanic in this level now, so that means they're free to, like, bring it back in 25 levels once I've forgotten about it. Oh my god. Okay. Let me make sure there's nothing up here. There was! You couldn't even reach the magnet that high. Oh, okay, well that's what this platform is for. I guess I shouldn't have been quite as, uh... No, I, I still hate this very much. This might be the worst mechanic they could have ever introduced. Let me check these things up here, because you never know. Okay. I just kind of have to hope that there weren't any uh, anything like this in the first screen, because... I wasn't checking at that point. How kind of you to give me stars. The item that I need. I'm waiting for the point where they actually have a level that doesn't have enough. Because it's been mentioned that uh, there's some that have the exact number of stars and you can never get hit and lose any. I'm waiting for ones that, where there's just actually not enough at all and you have to do, like, egg-bouncing crap to do it. Okay, if you say so. Let's see how this is gonna work. Really? to do it again. And of course I'm out of eggs. Okay, let's get the perfect shot again. First try. Oh, it actually was. What do you know? I am accepting of that. Oh no. <laughs> Got more frickin' 
red coins floating into me. That is the worst. Every time I think that I've seen the worst mechanic in this game, they go above and beyond. So now we have to combine the uh, auto-scrolling levels with branching paths with the magnet that brings coins that you can't see and have them, like, trail after you and despawn. And what else can we add to that? Ugh, okay. Let me go switch to Dongly Ganob and check those vines out. I just realized this game is very slowly turning into DK64, because we're having to switch characters constantly. God help us. And unlike the tag barrel, you can't go in and uh, choose which one you want and get out. You have to actually cycle through them all. And how many are there in this game? Like, seven? That reminds me that uh, quite a while back, I was on the DK64 board on GameFAQs just to see what people th had to think about the game. And there were people with our like, oh, they should remake this for the DS. And they should have new characters and have, like baby DK, or DK Jr. with, like, orange bananas, and then have Dixie with pink bananas, and I'm like, no, why would you ever add more characters to this? That is the worst idea. Anyway. Obviously, I need the magnet here. I'm trying to see how far I can progress without it. Not, oh my. Not very far, apparently. Alright, let's do this methodically, because all it takes is the game to have a bad mood, and then it can just despawn a red coin for me now. You know what would be nice? The magnifying glass item. I'd never used that thing in the original game, and yet it would be a very valuable resource here. I wonder if there's a character that does that, actually. I don't know what characters are left. Probably Toad. I think I've mentioned before that there's, like, a baby Yoshi that is the special Yoshi. I remember hearing about that at some point. I don't know if it's true, though. Oh, I guess I haven't gotten Luigi yet, either. Will Luigi make you slide around on platforms for no reason? I never understood why his gimmick is that he has bad traction. I forget who it was that said it, but I remember somebody uh, said that Luigi walks like he has anal lube on his shoes. Specifically, specifically that. I, uh, I don't disagree with that. That is a accurate assessment. platforms suck. I see what's happening, like, you have to get them to go down and then, like, bounce up. But that doesn't mean I like it. Still can't get up there. Come on, really? Can you please... Let's bring the platform down. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. That's what we need, Kong. Another golden banana for you. <coughs> oh my god, why? You know, I haven't even been paying attention. Have there been reds in this at all? I feel like there have, but... Okay, yeah, there are. And now we get to do this again. When something's worth doing, it's worth doing at least 20 times. And then it just doesn't attract it. Come on. Left claw north, right claw south. 
Okay, what the hell is up with the Lobster Magnet song? Like, if, if, because I've, I've made a couple references to it now, and I've never really explained what it is, but that's because I don't really know what it is. It's just some old, stupid Flash movie from, like, the early 2000s, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a song about a lobster magnet. Or rather, a lobster and a magnet, because they are two separate things. I know that uh, if you put a lobster on a plate, it'll use the magnet to escape. We've established that much. And rabbits made of steel, lobster has a beak. But, but, but why though? Come on, get these frickin' last coins. Alright, had to check, you never know. Well, that was a good, worthwhile run. That definitely took, uh, was a good use of, like, 20 minutes. Alright, so what do we got going on here? And then that's gonna close as soon as I get on it, so I've gotta find a block somewhere. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, there's the block. Gonna go ahead and solve this thing right now before I accidentally knock the block into the pit, because that would be bad. Come with me if you're not black. Out of context quotes. Just another day with, uh, with my channel. And speaking of out-of-context quotes, how about, Oh yeah, well, but about an out-of-context drug reference. Also, hold the phone. Did I skip an area? <clears throat> I think I did. I think I skipped the whole area. And I... Yeah, I can't go back. Because there's no way to go down there. So I am effectively screwed if there was anything there that I didn't get, which there probably was. Good game design. Well, I guess that, uh... That's my own fault for trusting the game. I I've, should have learned by now to not do that. <sighs> okay. Um... How, wh what did I do here? Hold on. It's... There's always the chance that I didn't miss anything. I doubt it. Oh, I can get up here. I don't think that was how I spo don't think that was how I was supposed to do that, but we're gonna accept that anyway. Really? Whatever, I guess that crab's not hurting anyone. What was the point of this? Was this just an alternate way of getting up if you were Donkey Kong? Yeah, I guess so. It's, uh... Okay, yeah, I get it. If you if you knock the block into the pit and can't get across, then that's... Alright, so that's just an alternate path. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going through this level, collecting everything possible, and in the very likely scenario that I get to the end and I do not have everything, then I'll just be replaying this one off screen, I guess. You are a piece of shit. Gzorpazorp fucking field. Come on. I think if there's anything up there I would have gotten it by now, but you never know. Alright, let's check this. No, get out of here. So, minigame hut. Yep, in a game hut, whatever. How far can I go? Not very. Because I am usually pretty bad at this. Except I'm actually doing a fair bit better than usual. Because I think this is the same fluttering height as, uh, as DK. And I actually am a bit better with this one than the regular one. Whatever. Okay, I've 
iPad phone. So, moving on. Gotta check every single bush. So, once again, assuming that I don't reach 100%, um, and when I off-screen this, I'll show, like, what I missed, but... I'm also hoping that I'm not missing any in bushes. If I do, then I won't re like, I won't re-show all of that, because there's no reason to. If you say so, again. This is, uh, oh, pfft. This is going on for a while, so... Do I even have to do this? I mean, I feel like I could probably bounce an egg up there, but we'll do it the regular way. Oh god. That is a very short time limit. And you get exactly one chance, apparently. Wow. So, you step on the switch, it lasts for three quarters of a second, and then that's it. Once again, this game's, uh, design philosophies boggle my mind. Okay, let's try this again. Because I know this should be possible with an egg. Keyword there being should. Ugh. Also, what, where am I supposed to get a block to push on this? I don't think I've seen one. Oh, it's right there. Duh. Okay. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute. Oh, I can just fly up here anyway. Okay. Alright, crisis averted. There was a fucking coin up there. Alright, hold on. We're apparently not done yet. It's not good enough to float up there and bypass the switch puzzle. You also have to check it out with the magnet, because you never know when uh, this game wants to hide shit. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just... Can we shoot the bushes with an egg? Is that going to be good enough? Should have been all of them. I didn't get a red coin out of that, so I'm gonna assume I'm safe. So let's slowly push this block. And again. I like how speeding up doesn't speed up the sound effects. That's really weird. I think it did that in uh, Platinum too, didn't it? Because like the cries would still play at the normal speed. use Peach for the first time in, like, six days, and... Okay. That's one less thing to worry about, then. So, how are we doing collectible-wise? Missing two reds and a flower. And a star. Which I hope I can get back somewhere. I guess I shouldn't worry about getting the stars until I know that uh, I can get everything else, but it still is a minor concern of mine. Alright, what's down in the pit? Sadness? Sadness is down in the pit. Okay. Get, glad that we established that. This guy out of my way. Get, oh, frickin'. Yeah, I think I pretty much hate everything right now. Okay, hold on, let's get a uh, red egg here. Can I do it off of this low of a ceiling? Mm, doesn't really look like it. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, I do have a red egg. I guess I did get that then. Alright. Well, let me grab a couple more, just for safety's sake. I'm almost positive that I'm not going to 100% this level anyway, but one can dream. Okay, get you out of my way. Get 
this fucking flower up. Really? Okay, hit you. There was a ring here the whole time, okay. I guess that's fine. So yeah, I just need two reds and a flower. Will they be here? Probably not. Also, I didn't go through that last section with Wario. Hold on. Alt save. And... Are there any bushes anyway? Other than the ones on the ground, I don't think so. You are a frickin' lowlife. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think there's any res here. Okay. And back to collecting every individual coin, because we don't have the magnet. And getting hit by shit. Have I mentioned lately that I am extremely grateful to have save states? Oop, oh, there's one. You can find my house. Come on. PS3, you want it? getting so close to having everything, I know it's going to snatch it away from me at the last minute like that. But I just need to be safe steady more often. I guess that's my own fault. Come on, get the damn coin. I don't know why I'm getting every coin. I know that none of these are red. Actually, no, I don't. One of them was. I don't remember which one, so... It was apparently that one. I will get the rest anyway, just to do a clean job of it. If I even can. Yeah. Okay. Save as soon as I get to this island. This goddamn fish. Are you kidding me? Oh. Just get out of my life. All right. So we do have all the reds. Am I missing the last flower? Oh my god. I actually don't have to redo the level. Now that I'm going to get hit by the fish, probably. Can we just get to the end? I, I don't really see that. That's the thing. You've made your mistake level, you've left the level keep going after I got everything, because now I have no reason to care. Alright, here we go. Yep, that was it. And bonus that I don't give a shit about. Alright. Good. Okay, well that takes care of everything here, except for going back and uh, revisiting this one, which I am going to do now. So I will show you when I get it, because it will be thrilling. Okay, so I like this. Um, so you get over here, you shoot the thing down, blah blah blah, get it over here. And you might be wondering where the, uh, where the changing station is. It's right next to it. So... Basically, the what I'm learning here is the only reason it was like that was to force you to go through the level a second time. Now, if it had not been right next to it, I still would have complained because of the amount of backtracking I would have had to do to uh, go find a different one and then come back and do that until I find the correct one. So, basically, there was no way to make that not suck which, to me, means they should have put it somewhere else. Or made it accessible the first time with Wario and not have you replay the stage for no reason. But whatever, we got it, so... That is all, and the next level uh, resembles... I don't know what that is. Possibly 
a banana platform. I can't tell. 